student at the University of Chicago. Um, I was a part of MAPS from 2010 to 2012, and I have known to right now for about four years. Um, I grew, I was born in a refugee camp. Uh, my parents lived there for about eight years, and then they came over to the United States when I was about to turn four. Um, my family, well, my parents had a lot of marital problems because of the nature of their marriage. And so when we came here, there was a lot of ups and downs because um, eventually my mom moved over to California with me and my two brothers, and she divorced my dad. Um, and as I was growing up, it was, now that I think about it, fairly difficult for me because there was a lot of cultural tension between my mom, who used to live in a poor Vietnamese village, and me, who grows up in a minority, who grew up in a Hispanic majority town within the entire context of the United States. It was very difficult to find a place for me to fit in between struggling with my own tension between my mom and the culture that she has and she raised me with and the TV that I grew up watching and basically American liberalism that how liberal America is in contrast to I suppose her conservative way of teaching me um, if that made sense at all. It caused me a lot of conflict, I think, internally, because I wanted to be a good daughter, but at the same time, I wanted to be something else. And all that translated into conflict between my, me and my mom, and kind of me and my brothers, because I would want to play in the mud, and I would want to say things that might sound rude within a Chinese context. And I was called a bad child. Um, and I don't think I would blame my mom or say that she didn't love me enough or that my family didn't provide me with enough and that we, it was because of my family that like I eventually grew to kind of dislike myself because I felt like, and I do still feel that my family loves me very much and I am very proud of my mom for all that she provided me with because she is an amazing lady who came to the United States when she didn't really, oh, she knows my uncle, but she didn't really know a word of English. And she was able to provide for her three children. I think that's amazing. But I suppose inevitably there are going to be problems because it's a new country. And I grew up with these problems of self dislike. And um, I would look in the mirror and think, I wish I were prettier, I wish I were funnier, I wish I were more than me, because I couldn't fit in with the students at school. I couldn't fit in with my own family. And then I joined NAPS when I was uh, a rising junior, and I remember meeting Sarai and thinking she was really pretty. Um, and then during our initial meetings, I remember being afraid that she would dislike me because I think that's something that people who don't particularly have high self-confidence do. Uh, and it turns out that she's one of the most amazing people that I've met and she loves me very much. I think. Um, so, basically, <laughs> I eventually learned to love myself because of my psychology. Uh, I'm not sure how and I'm not sure when it happened, but all I know is that NAPS provides very open and accepting environment for all students. It was crazy because she would literally let us decide what we wanted to do. And at the time, I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, you're the adult. You're the person who's in charge. You should know better. Um, and it's funny because, you know, maybe she doesn't. Maybe the student knows better. And I think she knew that maybe the student knows better. And so we started deciding things and we started having a voice that we didn't have in our schools. And we started talking about immigration and we started talking about all these things. 
that no one teaches us to talk about because we are in this bubble of being naive and being immigrants and not knowing how to have a voice within this American context. Um, and um, I think I learned a lot from Sarai and would have a lot of one-on-one -on -one talks because I would come into the office a lot and set up before students came because I got um, a job working for Goodwill with maps. And she would always listen to me and it was very interesting because I would have all these questions that I would want to ask and she would always answer them and it was fantastic because she had like the perfect answer for everything. Um, I think eventually I just I gained self-confidence from being around people who accepted me and liked me for who I was and then I was able to be who I was and like found that, you know, it's a pretty cool person and now I think that I'm awesome. But I also think that other people are awesome and it's really saddening when people don't value themselves and don't see that they're really amazing inside. And that's my story.